Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to The Longing. It's day 143. Uh, and I've got great news. Just, just the best news ever. Today, I actually did something. Holy shit. Oh my... Everyone rejoice. We're gonna get a bank holiday for this. Botman15 has finally... Has finally done something that he can talk about in the longing video that he makes. Uh, as well, I... And also, this is as well as the... The baking that I'd said I'd do. So I've done the baking. Uh, I made some cookies. Um, and someone said that they were biscuits. Because I'm English, obviously. And I think there is a there is a crucial difference between cookies and biscuits. Cookies are very specific. Now, if you're American, you're probably going to disagree with this. Um, <laughs> but from my perspective, a cookie is a very specific thing. A cookie is a... A biscuit. <laughs> Man, this is going to be difficult to explain. A cookie has... Um, a soft inside and a crunchy outside, if you can picture that. So if you picture the, the kind of the typical chocolate chip cookie, it's got a very, it's got a nice crunchy outside and it's got a very nice squidgy, almost raw inside. And cookie dough makes cookies. Biscuit dough doesn't make cookies. Cookie dough makes cookies. And we all know what cookie dough is. When, when I say cookie dough, you think of a very specific thing in your mind. And that's what makes cookies and so i made some of them um, and i i believe that i i'm saying this this is real i believe that botman 15 has finally created the perfect cookie it's a big claim i know but i think it i'm pretty sure it's true i've finally done it i've i made the bet i made the best cookie um do you want to know my secret? Well, stick around to find out. Um, the recipe is pretty standard. There's butter and sugar and flour and whatever. Um, the the trick is f trick number one. Uh, use a food processor to cut up the chocolate. That's uh, actually that was probably like trick number three that I would put on the list. Uh, but it's still very important. I think it it. Um, you don't get huge chunks of chocolate, which you might get if you chop it up. Uh, if you're American, you might be thinking, oh, well, why not just use chocolate chips? They suck. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> the fuck is the point of those things? <laughs> um, so, yeah, I use a food processor on the chocolate chips. On the chocolate, I just uh, broke up a bar, put it in the food processor. Um... And that, it, it makes a kind of uniform chocolatiness around uh, uh, throughout the cookie. And you do get the satisfaction of eating chocolate without, you know, having to crunch through huge blocks of it, which will break your teeth. So that's very good. You get, uh, it, it allows you to appreciate this, the texture of the cookie more. Trick number two, half brown and half white sugar. Now you can do more, you can do less. Uh, but it's very important for the structure of the cookie to use a, at least half brown sugar. Um, I think even better if you have dark brown sugar. I tried it once with dark brown sugar, and I've, I've not had any dark brown sugar since, so I've not been able to recreate it. But it's still delicious if you just use regular brown sugar. The game's frozen. Uh-oh. <laughs> Trick number three. What else did I do? Trick number three is use egg yolks and not... Uh, not like a full egg. Um, that is because if uh, if you use the just the egg yolks, it kind of comes out kind of chewier and fudgier. Which is, I mean, if, if you really want a shitty cookie, use all like. <laughs> but I I recommend I I use two egg yolks in my recipe. Um, that trick number four are we on? I don't know. Um, put a bit of cinnamon in. Now, you may not be thinking. Now, it depends on the type of cookie you make. I've been making chocolate chip cookies for the last year and a half. 
cha- I've changed I've changed something every single time I've made them. Some have been better than others. Uh, but the the la- recently this is a recent addition. Uh, put a bit of cinnamon in. It do- it won't make a taste of cinnamon. You do get kind of a cinnamon taste if if you handed someone some one of these cookies, and just told them it was normal, then they'd be like, "Is there cinnamon in this?" Um, so you can taste the cinnamon, but it's not overpowering. It it's not a cinnamon cookie. It's still a chocolate chip cookie. It just makes it taste tastier, you know. Makes it taste tastier. So you know, a cup, teaspoon, or something. I don't know. Just put some cinnamon in it. Uh, trick number f- five. Um, now I don't know if this actually changes anything, but it's something I did with the ones that I made today, and they are super delicious, and they're the best ones I've ever made. Uh, I put a bit of maple syrup in. I don't know if it does anything. I can't taste it, <laughs> so I don't know if it did anything. It made the dough a bit stickier. Uh, but apart from that, just put it in anyway. Who's gonna stop you? It it, it didn't make them taste bad. Uh, the final trick isn't really a trick, it's just more of a, uh, just kind of a tip. Uh, just make sure not to overcook them. If you cook them to the point where they look done, they're gonna be overdone. Um, if you cook them to where they're still just a tiny bit raw in the center, that, that'll be good, that'll be perfect. Um, those are my, those are Botman's top, top bop tips, bop's top tips. Uh, for cookies. <laughs> um, uh, and yeah, the other thing I did today is I signed up for a, a C-sharp course. And I, I watched some videos, wrote some stuff. That's less exciting than cookies. Uh, I have less to speak about on that than I do the cookies. But, um, you know, it's something to talk about at least. I talked about the cookies for ten minutes. <laughs> so go out, my children. Go make some cookies and feed them to your family and friends, for they are delicious. Make sure you buy some good grease proof as well. I've I've I bought some really shitty grease proof paper. Uh, that's baking paper, grease proof. It's non-stick stuff, or it's meant to be non-stick stuff. I made I've made a couple things using it, and um, just all of them have stuck. It's been awful for doing non-stick stuff on baking trays and stuff. But it's fine. We're gonna do. You can't win them all. Uh, so, I mean, now I have a load of cookies in my in my possession. So I'm not quite sure what to do with them. I guess I'll eat them. I can eat like ten during the tomorrow's episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. <laughs> so it's been a good day for me. I didn't even talk about like uh, Hunt Showdown, which I played yesterday for the first time, which apparently has been like a huge multiplayer game for several years, but I've just never heard of it. Didn't even talk about that. Um, I mean, I totally could. Yeah, why not? This, these, 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 these videos can be a bit longer. So I played Hunt Showdown yesterday with a couple of bu- a couple of buddies, a couple of friends, a couple of pals. And man, I don't think my computer is is good enough to run that smoothly. <laughs> I don't know if it's the computer or the internet. Um, it was kind of laggy. I don't know. But it was fine. I don't play many multiplayer games on my own. Um, I think my perception of a bunch of multiplayer games is kind of skewed because I've been playing them with uh, friends, and I've and you know everything's better with friends, right? Um, so I don't know if if that's what's been happening. But I had fun. I had fun enough. You know, we killed some monsters. It was fine. The UI is ter- The UI in the menu is just god awful. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you that much. I thought that nothing could be worse than Death Stranding's UI, but Jesus Christ, Hunt Showdown. That meant it's impossible to go get anywhere. I can't imagine the people who are like level one hundred and have a million guns get their way around. But it was it was fun enough. I've I probably won't play it on my own like I do like I do with like uh, Overwatch and Rainbow Six. Um, but, you know, if a friend's like, hey, you want to play on Showdown? I'll be like, yeah, sure, why not? And that's the power of friendship, everyone. And on that note, uh, I, I guess that's the end of the video. I, that's all I can think of that I've done today. I, I can remember I thought of something earlier that I was like, oh, I could say that in the video later. But I can't remember it now. 
So you'll never hear it. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Um, it's been a pleasure. As always, thank you so much for watching. It really, it really is. It, it, oh, it's so nice that people watch this and enjoy these. Seriously, it's great. Thank you so much. Um, I hope you've all had as good and as eventful a day as I have. Um, go make some biscuits or cookies or whatever. Go baking. Baking's great and it's fun, it's easy and it's cheap. And uh, well, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow, I guess, where I'll have eaten most of those cookies.